for the first time ever we see exactly how the ranking system of the heroes work and let's just say some rankings that we saw before has been a little bit switched out gang orca who was in the ranking is no longer in the ranking this is not permanent indeed it seem can change all the time hi for those who are watching the angry enemy found the despair river still an information chapter that once again calmed before the storm some <coughs> it just feels like some ex despair is going to happen apparently november is coming uh, came uh, is uh, coming to a close as Deku together with a lot of the other groups are visiting Eri who is now uh, in a new building <coughs> and as they all greet her with happiness uh, uh, Eri's head says that they all cannot uh, be there uh, I mean she cannot be in hospital forever and they have looked up her uh, past and they mention her abandonment of her parents and her only blood relative was that boss of the eight persons that has been uncon unconscious and it's also worth noting that uh, despite seemingly being much happier now Eri's horn is beginning to grow back after all that horn is the source of her power it makes me question though what happen if someone were to cut off that ha that horn would that mean she would lose the ability of the quirk because if you think about it Overhaul needed his arms in order to use his overhaul quirk. I mean, Shisaki, why did I even say uh, overhaul? I don't acknowledge him as a human being. So what if someone do the same to Eri? Would that mean she will lose her rewind quirk? But there's more important to know, why is the horn growing a little bit back? It uh, seems the horn is depending on her emotional state. And at that, that time she used it unconsciously, she rampaged over there. So... Makes me question though. What uh, is it possible though that she, the happier she is, as well as the sadder she is, that one will grow. I mean, if Eric could learn to control that power, then we will have miracles beyond anything else. But I highly doubt the author will go down that road, mostly because uh, no one likes that kind of hope except me. So. Uh, so uh, now she is in these uh, empty rooms in the teacher's lounge where Eraser will monitor her and make sure she doesn't go rampage as well as the third uh, mm, as well as the student on hiatus will also be Eri's friend although his friend Sun Eater is saying that if Eri could manage to control her power then maybe the return of the peerless hero is not so far away well we can only hope we can only hope but I don't think the author will go down that route because, again, it doesn't look like an author that channels too much hope. So either way, elsewhere back on the in the student dorms, suddenly Tukuyami begin uh, coughs, no, no, not coughs, uh, sneezes. As you all know, it's uh, a traditional gag in uh, comedy gag in Japanese anime to always cough when no, not cough. Sneeze when someone is talking about you. So, but we normally though that joke is that someone is talking to you a page and then we get that sneeze. However, here it appears he sneezed and we do not even hear who talked about him. <laughs> but I have a feeling it must have been. They think it is a fan, and even Uchaku believes that it is though because he interned at Hawk's place. But Tokuyama is modest, saying that. I, uh, he doesn't have any. And then suddenly, the four very un unexpected guests appear. None other than the Pussycats doll, off worship, wielding their clothes. I mean, the girls still look sexy, including the rag doll, the one who was uh, uh, off commission because of the stolen quirk. As uh, And Kotakun is there as well. And he seems to become a little bit better because now he's actually uh, wielding almost the same shoes. Uh, as Deku. I guess in the end he has gotten some a little bit more respect from Deku after all. So uh, so they, are, they have come to UA to celebrate the reinstatement of a ragdoll but again she cannot join them on missions because she is not uh, quirky but she can uh, support them as office lady. Is that similar to how Night Eye supported All Might? Because they have tried to talk to uh, 
all for one about the quirks. And then he, the, he sadistically only says that when he sees a good quirk, he always takes it for himself. It's a bad habit. Uh, he, wants, he says he wants to return many quirks, but a quirk has to be used wherever possible and sooner rather than later. I guess that is meant to imply that he can never return a quirk once he has stealing it. Although technically, no, maybe maybe that's not true, because it did give his brother a quirk that merged in and became one for all. Or, uh, so well, and maybe it just means that he he won't give back a quirk e willingly. That's what we should see. So yeah, they don't know how many quirks he's stolen nor who he stole it from. All we know is it's despair, and so it's a broadcast soon. Uh, and they, she is rejoining because they need to get back into the Japanese hero billboard charts. It's apparently that each uh, each year a number of heroes incident revolves contribution to society and approval ratings and so on will be uh, activated twice a year and presented in the rankings of active heroes. And that will be a hero that will certainly be pleased at your to people. So, uh, yeah, the other... Uh, Ragdoll's idea to get back into the business as they all, uh, as the students all shit them on. But they all also note that this is the first uh, billboard without all might. So who are they ranking this time? Well, at number 10, it's uh, Dragon Hero Ryuku. I think she was number 9. So I guess she must have fallen. That's too bad. Number 9 is an old hero, the armored hero Yoru, Yoru, Yuri Musha. Apparently, uh, if I can be knocked out of the top three ranking of the system, then it's just due to errors in the measurement depending on the times. Is that meant to imply he's an arrogant man who blames things on time and nothing else, even though he's old? Number eight is uh, a weird hero, the same one from the squeaky clean commercial, the washing hero Wash. Well, that's a very creative name. He, I mean, I don't know know the gender, but that hero looks very similar to Black, that Black Hole hero. You know, that hero we do not know the gender of either. The female voice in the anime is not helping either. So, yeah, a washing hero. Wash? <laughs> wonder what that one. Number seven is Kamui Woods. Seems he finally has gotten something over Mount Lady, who says... Uh, who is on the same team. Of course, she refused to say anything else because, uh, well, Mount Lady is now ranked number 23rd, so I guess she is jealous. Number six is a hero, an unorthodox hero, safely keeping his place. The shield hero, Crust, who is actually shedding tears for All Might. Is that meant to imply he's an All Might fanboy? Number five is a determined bunny. Uh, who is also an arrogant hero, especially as she says that joining a team is for weaklings. However, that outfit, though, mm, that outfit, she's the rabbit hero, Miruku. She reminds me a lot of those, uh, who, not, not, not rabbits, those, did anyone read that the manga gate or something? There are rabbit folk there, sexy dressers, but extremely violent. She reminds me a little bit of them, especially with that re revealing leotard dress. Man, she is sexy. But she, the fact is that joining a team is for weaklings means she's an arrogant hero. Number four is uh, the ninja hero, Edshot, who is still humble. Number three is uh, still best genist, even though he's still out of commission. I actually wonder, though, if he will still uh, get back into the game. I mean, he did marry a lot for society. Number two, though, is a hero, the winged hero, Hawks. We have not seen him before, but I think that's the one to Tokuyami was interning. He seems to be a man with large wings. Pretty cool, but uh, it seems to be pretty, like that, indifferent. And, of course, who is number one? None other than, of course, Endeavor, the flame hero, who enters the scene in a new costume, nonetheless. Is Endeavor starting to have character development, or is there something else? Well, either way, this is still just a slowdown chapter. Nothing big has happened. Only that. But the ranking system is officially here, so that's nice to see. Nice new characters, returns of characters. But again, it just feels like calm before the storm. Endeavor is number one, and as we all know, he's the Donald Trump in this situation. It's... Uh, 
people do not many people do not like that yet someone still voted for him is Endeavor going for character development or not? I don't know. You give me your thoughts if you have any.